Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rico, and I'm back with another video. Today, we talking about phone flipping negotiations, right? And I'm gonna give y'all a few of my tactics and, you know, how to close the deal and how to get cheap phones so you can get the maximum out of your flips. So let's jump right into it. So we've covered how to get iPhones on eBay, right? We've covered how to get them for cheap. And if not, I'll put a link in the description to that video. And now I'm going to show you some negotiation tactics, okay? And maybe you can land some locally on places like OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace. Like always, the very first thing I recommend is checking the value of the phone, okay? You need to know what the phone is worth, bro, every single time. And that's even before you start to negotiate. Once you know how much it's worth, then you're ready to jump in and you know, okay, I'm not going over this amount. So once you find a phone to negotiate for two things stand out to me as far as what I look for in a listing. And this is true for all the marketplaces too, by the way. That's the time listed in terms of how long ago it's been listed and of course the price. Now, why the listing time? Because my experience has taught me this. Listings less than a week old, the owners aren't willing to negotiate or aren't as willing to negotiate, I should say. Usually after a week, the seller's prices firm mindset is sort of been tested at this point okay so mostly target older listings and i know that sounds backwards but when it comes to negotiation newer listings usually cover sellers that are more firm on their price okay so you got to let the market kind of soften them up it doesn't hurt to reach out and even be sort of a you know keep me in mind if it doesn't work out type contact situation most of the time they're not willing to negotiate and then of course the price is for obvious reasons right i mean we once again the price is the determining factor in a whole flip so that's obvious we don't have to go too far into that so now that you've identified these now it's time to go out and send some messages and start negotiating all right the first thing that you have to sort of look at and remember is, is that you're trying to get, and this is at least for me, I'm trying to get at least 50 to to $100 profit margin on each device, okay? So that means when I'm looking, I'm already going in knowing, right? For example, let's say I found an iPhone 7 unlocked. It's been up for about a week, okay? And some change, a couple days. And it's listed at 240 bucks. I go check and see that that phone is consistently going anywhere from $200 to $250 online, okay? So, I send that person a message and I say, Hello, I'm interested in your iPhone 7. I have $150 right now and I can come get it right now. And I'm going to explain to you why that's important too. I'm realistic. I'm not going to tell you right that most people are going to take just that first offer okay actually most people are going to say no all right but here is also what most people will do most people will refuse that offer and then they'll give you their bottom price and most of the time they're willing to go up to $25 lower than what their actual bottom price is okay now, that doesn't mean that you need to get greedy, okay? If their bottom price allows you to get at least $50 profit, just take it. But if not, then just know that you possibly have that $25 wiggle, wiggle room in any negotiation. Hey, what's going on? Real quick, I wanna ask if I'm providing you any value, if you can, subscribe to this channel, man. Like this video and comment. Let me know what you think. That would mean a lot to me. Back to what y'all came to see. Now, your availability now remember i told you i was going to explain why right now you being able to meet with the money right now is important and i'm going to tell you why your availability is what can be what pushes you over the top when it comes to negotiating you being able to meet up the soonest is your advantage okay the marketplace is full of flakers bro i promise it sucks and sellers really value somebody who is ready to come now and doesn't have to wait until his little cousin brings the truck back and then never shows up, okay? And so they value people like that even enough to take a little less than, you know, what they wanted for the for the device or for whatever, really. That, that applies to everything. So please understand that that's your most value. That's honestly your leverage when it comes to ne negotiation is being able to go and say, Hey, I'm, I can come right now with the money. Okay. Here's the thing. I know you clicked this video, right? And you were thinking you were going to hear some hardcore 
um, philosophical negotiation strategies. But honestly, bro, it is not that complicated, right? Because all it is is a numbers game. And at the end of the day, all a person can do is say yes or no, right? If you can get somebody within 50 to $100 of your profit for you, take it. If not, that's it's all good. That's all there is to it. There isn't any reverse psychology tactics or anything that can make somebody sell their phone at the price that you want, okay? They either are going to sell it for something that you can make some profit on or they're not, okay? So don't focus on tactics. Don't focus on that. Focus on who you're targeting. Focus on, you know, okay, this person, this phone has been here for a while. This person is more likely to negotiate with me than not, okay? Um, and focus in, and this is the biggest part, focus on understanding that the word no is all part of the game. Once again, it's a numbers game. If you can get 100 messages out, if you live in an area like me, which is the Dallas-Fort Worth area, then there's hundreds of people that you can message, you know, and even if not, even if you don't, these tactics, which, and even if you don't, these, what I'm telling you still works. So no's are definitely a part of the game. So I just wanted to keep it short and sweet for y'all, man. I always want to ask that if you gain value from this video or if this video helped you at all, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with somebody, you know, that tells the algorithm that your boy's working hard. I did want to mention... I know last week I was sad, but the Cowboys won today, and we won in dramatic fashion, so go Cowboys. That's all I wanted to say, but I love everybody out there, man. Like y'all, man, like y'all see in my other videos, I respond to everybody. Hit me in the comments, you know, and I'll help you out. So much love to everybody, man. Let's have a productive week. Let's get it.